But the top donors to the Teal's Climate 200 political movement have also been revealed, and they include software top dog Scott McFarker and Mike Cannon Brooks, who together spent over $2.6 million to boot out the Morrison government uh, in some of those Teal seats. What do you make of that? Look, I mean, I just think it's a, it's, a, it's a new front, isn't it? I mean, it's a, it's a new way of doing elections, and that is dressing up uh, what look to be independents as left-wing candidates. And, and, and we're seeing that across the board, and it's been used very effectively. The message really has to be for the Australian people, you have to know what you're buying. And when, you, when you're voting for teal candidates, you are voting for green left candidates, effectively. And, and, and that is a simply... Uh, replicated uh, throughout the country. We've got some here that are funded in, in SA. I think the, uh, the member for Mayo had, had a significant contribution from Climate 200, uh, and that's been rolled out across the board. So, look, I mean, you get all sorts of arguments about political donations. Ultimately, people are allowed to support who they want to support, but people only find this stuff out after the event. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it should be of no surprise in future. Wouldn't it be great if there was some sort of real-time donations reporting system where week by week through the campaign we could see who was giving all this money out?